The context of this video is the side plane four petal opposite direction flower where the left hand is overhand and the right hand is underhand. And that flower looks like this. One, two, three, four. And this is an in-spin flower on the side plane moving through these four positions in diamond mode, so named because if you looked at where the hands are, they form a diamond at the places where each of the four petals are being made. Let's start with the, um, the Poilates drill. So the Poilates drill defines what you're doing with your body through the motion. It is so named because if you've ever done Pilates, Pilates is based on these powerhouse muscles that you tighten through here to help hold you in place. And what we're doing is we're using that, and I'll show you from the side, we're using these muscles. So even if I, if I kept my hands here on my hips, I'm moving my body like this to uh, power the motion so that as my hands come around the circle, my hips open and close and will power the motion of my body. When you're doing these Poilates drills, you want to think about the following form. Earlobe over your shoulder, over your hips, over your heels, with your knees soft, your pelvis tucked, and then these core muscles, the powerhouse muscles, these are tight. You can imagine between your two hip bones that you are making a smile with these muscles, which will engage and hold up your core. As you lift yourself up, you want your chin above horizontal because remember your earlobe is over your shoulder and you want to make sure that your shoulders are not raised, they're lowered, and you're pulling your lats in and down toward your sacrum. So all the while, smiling. Um, <laughs> and, and it's less about the smile, but every time I'm saying smile, it's meant to be a cue for you to have consciousness around your facial expression because if you can... If you can have consciousness is consciousness around your facial expression while you're in the practice, it's much easier to have good facial expressions when you're performing. Left arm will be overhand, right arm will be underhand. So the motion will be like so. The right will go front, the left will go back. You're opening your hip to the left side. And when you open, it, if you were able to see on the other side of me, what you would notice is both of my palms are facing toward you. So both of my palms are facing toward the screen. Now as I come back up to neutral, my palms are coming in toward each other as if I'm holding a ball between my two hands. Now as my right arm goes back and my left arm goes front, you'll notice my right arm opens to the side as my hip opens and both arms are pointing, both hands are pointing toward you. And then when I come back to neutral, they're in toward each other. So as we go through the motion, left back, right front, both up, right back, left front, and down, you open every time you cross the top position, you open or close accordingly, depending on whether you're going to the back or the front. So let's do 16 repetitions of the full set of four positions, and I'll count off five, six, seven, eight, left back, right front, both up, left front, right back, one, left back, both up, left front and down, left back, both up, left front and down, left back, both up, left front and down, that's four, and that's five, left back, both up, left front, right down, left back, both up, left front, back down. Or T I T I, but titty drill is good for you. And do the drills if you're for real, and that's gonna make your art more awesome. No joke.